Two new vaccination mega sites opened in Brooklyn and Queens dedicated to increasing vaccination rates among residents of those boroughs. There are just some of the ways availability of the shots may be increasing. CBS News John Diaz joins us from one of the sites at your college in Jamaica. Yeah, we are talking about big numbers here today. Between both sites, we are told that a total of nearly 42,000 New Yorkers can get vaccinated every single week. This morning marks another significant step in the vaccine rollout. Two federally backed vaccination sites will be opening their doors to qualified New Yorkers living in underserved minority communities. Blacks died at twice the rate of whites. Hispanics died at one and a half times the rate of whites. How shameful. We have to be equitable in the administration of the vaccine, and we have to correct for the injustice that we just saw perpetrated by COVID. Megar Evers College in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, and your college in Jamaica, Queens, both can administer up to 3,000 shots a day, making them two of the largest vaccination centers in the state. Both state FEMA sites will be open between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. daily, prioritizing people in surrounding zip codes before opening up to all residents of each respective borough after one week. Meanwhile, the MTA is making access to the vaccine easier for its workers by opening its own employee vaccination program. Transit workers have carried the city on their backs, and if we're going to get back to normal, we need to step up and all get our shots. Starting today at 130 Livingston Street in Brooklyn, the vaccine center will be open Wednesday through Sunday. The MTA hopes to give out 200 doses a day or 1,000 a week. This comes as vaccine makers Pfizer and Moderna told Congress to expect a big jump in the supply very soon. Both companies pledged to have a combined 220 million doses available for shipment by the end of March. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is expected to soon get emergency use authorization, possibly arriving in states as soon as next week. On Friday, an FDA committee will meet. Dr. Anthony Fauci says it will likely take time to scale up production. They're not going to have a lot of doses on the first day. It will likely be relatively few which will then scale up a lot more. If approved, it would be the first single-dose COVID-19 shot available in the U.S. And back here in Queens and also in Brooklyn, the MTA will be running special bus services from New York City Housing Authority complexes as well as different community centers in order to get people here uh, to these two sites. Um, in order to make an appointment, we are told you could stop by these sites in person. You can also make them online or give them a phone call. For more information on all that, head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com. But for now, from Jamaica, Queens, John Diaz, CBS2 News.